Uh, now a lot of you people were facing the milestone issue uh, that if you just go inside the game uh, hold on a second guys and also guys that uh, if you see the screen right now uh, the whole screen is black so most of the people would think that their game has crashed but the game has not crashed as you guys can see it was loading so um, as I already told you guys in the comment section that uh, loading the script could take some time depending upon your computer so yeah just wait on the black screen and your game will load up so now if i were to create a new profile as you guys can see i will just make a new profile here and uh, so now if i was to start a new carrier you see the whole carrier intro just skipped and i have got this bmw already and also this porsche 911 gt2 over here so now if i go inside the blacklist and if I wanna go inside the milestone folder, you can see the milestones are locked. So if you wanna fix this issue, now this issue happens if you skip the carrier intro. So you simply gotta, you gotta exit the game, and after exiting, exiting the game, you simply gotta go inside your Need for Speed game folder, and now inside this folder, you gotta go inside the scripts folder, and now you see this extra options settings. You simply gotta open up this file. You gotta go to the very end of this file and you see this script carrier intro message you gotta change the value to zero now you just gotta save this file and exit the file so now if i was to run the game and uh, the and also you gotta make a new save file the old save file which we used earlier in which the milestones were locked uh, i don't really think that profile will be fixed you gotta make a new saved game and play the whole intro and the milestone issue will not uh, that issue will no longer be there. It will be resolved. So now uh, another problem another problem that you guys face is that Your game will give you some DLL error. So if I was to delete like um, This denpa.dll or d3d9 if I just delete this file. So now if I was to run the game and uh, Hold on a second guys okay what the hell guys the game was supposed to crash but i don't know how the hell this game is still running so anyways guys um this is an epic fail actually so as i was saying if you face any dll errors guys like any error regarding the dll so it is basically the mod loader which is giving you the error so, so you simply gotta download the graphics mod from video description the graphics mod and you gotta extract it anywhere you want now if you go inside this folder you can just simply copy any according to your pc any configuration you want you simply gotta copy all of these files and go inside your need for speed folder paste these files and replace all the old ones so now if you run the game your dll error should be resolved but if it's if it's still giving you the same error uh, then it is probably your antivirus which is messing with the modeler because you see guys um, a lot of these correct dll files are regarded are like uh, for the antiviruses they consider these files potentially unwanted items so you simply gotta go inside your antivirus go to history and see all the items that are quarantined so you will see your dll file over here if it's your antivirus which is messing with you so yeah it's not like only windows defender you you gotta see your own antivirus which you are using right now so yeah all the dll files are basically the mod loader error so you simply gotta download the graphics mod because you see it has already got all the mod loader files so now if your game is simply crashing at startup like it's not even giving you a dll error your game simply crashes then either you have installed some other mods in your game like hud mod or a texture mod maybe because or either if you like if you have installed the mods like car mods or graphics mod inside your own copy of the game uh, then your game could also be a problem because like almost all of the copies of the game available on the internet are either black edition or the latest version of the game so yeah basically i have downloaded a lot of copies but none of them work with all of the mods so you basically if that's the issue, issue you're facing you simply gotta download the full remaster file from the video description and it should be working now and also guys 
um, if you want to download any HD here do not download any other ones as except the one that I have given the link in the description below uh, yeah I have given the link for this one the HD HUD because I have tried all the other HUDs and and almost all of them are not compatible and they will give you crashes so yeah uh, this is not really good the one that I have given inside the description but it is alright I will try to make a better version of this or maybe like update this one so yeah if you simply wanna if you want an HD card you gotta copy these files and paste them inside a game folder replace those files and now it should be it should not give you the same error this one won't give you an error and you would also get the HD card so guys that is it for today's video if you still face any error uh, and also guys if you see this screen over here uh, do not worry this really will not mess up with your game you simply gotta you see you just close this file oh yeah and one more thing guys like if you wanna if you wanna customize this Oh god damn. if you also face like this error you see that the blacklist that I was on right now it shows defeated on the blacklist although I have not completed a single race this is because of that same skip carry intro issue you gotta disable that issue but I don't really know if I can do these challenges over here like I will try but it will it will most probably not give me any error now so guys I was saying if you wanna configure the graphics mod yourself because as you guys can see it is really bright right now and by the way also you guys uh, the HD HUD I downloaded is working right now so yeah uh, to configure this mod you can press escape and go inside your options then video settings advanced video settings and over here as you see the visual treatment you can set this to high and just wait for the script to reload mm, and uh, I will just close this error right here so now as you guys can see the the brightness is, re is reduced and the whole color scheme of the game has also changed so if you like the previous color scheme you can just simply go inside video settings and again set the visual treatment to low so now if I want this color scheme but I want the brightness to be a little bit low so all I gotta do is you gotta press shift and F2 on your computer if you press shift and F2 you'll get this menu over here so if you go ahead and you can tweak these settings a little bit and set them to your like you can keep the settings which suits you the best and also if you go inside this settings menu over here there are some more settings over here and there is also like yeah you see this performance mode over here you simply if you click on this configuration mode and just wait a second guys it is really loading the script so yeah now if you as you can see the configuration mode is turned on so now if I go inside home and as a, you can see there are a lot of settings over here so yeah you can you can configure all of these settings there are like even there are single values here you can uh, configure by yourself so yeah you want you can lower the brightness using this and you see uh, this warm and cold option so if you choose the warmer option it will actually have a, it will have a brighter brightness and the contrast will also be higher I think but if you use the cold one there will be the brightness will be lower but the theme will also be like as it is right now so yeah, you can te you can tweak these graphic settings by yourself to lower the brightness mm -hmm and also guys if you if you want to change the resolution if you go inside this video setting up and if you change the resolution from here it really won't work as you guys can see it is not even showing any resolution higher than 900p so to change the resolution you simply gotta exit the game and now if you go inside the scripts folder widescreen fix and you see this res x and res y now if I were to set the resolution to 1080p I simply gotta change the values of this res x and res y like 1080p is 1920 by 1080 so I will just set these values 
and now I will just save and exit so now if I go inside the game and open the game the resolution will be 1080p so yeah that is it for this video guys if you still face any problems feel free to tell me in the comment section below and I will try my best to solve your problem and I'll see you guys in the next video